typical stuff. Yeah, yeah. This is Chuck Gardner. The Alpines, you know, you just don't see that many around anymore. Wasn't the Sunbeam available with a V8? I, not that I'm aware of, but it's possible. One in Sarasota running around. Yes, there is one in Sarasota. Yeah. It's red. Yeah, red one. I've seen it. Yeah, this is this is a neat That's little car. stock original. Mm-hmm. Now, what is that in the trunk, or is that just? It could be just a display. Yeah. Probably got all the paperwork and everything sitting on a board on top of it to display it. Cool. Ah. Uh, Wake up, Vern. Yes. Mr. Vern Oblis, 1958 Ford Fairlines, Fairlane Skyliner. This is Mike and JJ. Is it Tribold, I believe? They're out of Wood Park. Look at this one. And I love the way they display them. I guess that's the standard way they display them. Well, you know, and, and I was going to say that. I mean, here we are 2,000 miles away, uh -huh. and they, they still get the tops the same way that Vern puts Ex it in. So. Yes, they stop it at that exact that's point a because it's, it, it's dramatic. Maybe that's a Skyliner kind of thing. Yeah, people don't realize what it takes to fold that top like yeah. that and when yeah. they started that back then. I played the original commercial that Lucy and Desi Arnaz did on the uh, Skyliner. I played that a while ago when I showed Vern's car. They, that, is, that car was way ahead of its time, man. Yep. That's way for sure. Now we see convertibles are built that way, many, many models that way, but uh, for, its, for its day, that certainly was something that was mm -hmm. ahead of its had a schedule. And this one looks, I mean, looks immaculate. Look at the interior in this. And we've got uh, two that come to the shows all the time now. Right. Uh, Tom Walkup. And there's another one in the area. I don't see him too much. Now, I think, isn't this a different hood than on Vern's? Vern's is a 59. Yeah. This 50 is a 58. Yeah, exactly. And 57 okay. had the one one headlight, and then they went to two on, and 58. They went to the double and 58. Yeah, so this is the model in between. All right, 05 Lotus. Elise? Now, see, I, I saw one of these at the uh, Kaiser Devereaux, but um, Terry was telling me that there was actually two of these, you know, at, the, at this particular show which is kind of unusual that you'd find two of them. Right? Matt Golowski from Woodland Park. There's four or five of them running around Sarasota. It's got a Toyota motor in it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, that motor's built and designed by Toyota. Well, didn't you have one at the uh, show in uh, Venice? Yeah. Okay. We had one at uh, Albertsons. Here's kind of a contrast. Yeah. yeah, 29 Ford Model A station wagon. Lowell Ross out of Woodland Park. <clears throat> Very cool. All the wood, you know, and you, you just don't see that many survivors of that for sure. And, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, I mean, you just wonder how many of those were even built, you know, at that time. I mean, it was, um, I think a lot of these, I've seen some of them used for like produce wagons and uh, well, isn't that, that what, what they were originally built yeah, for? Yeah, I, I think that could very well be. That, and um, they used them during the war as ambulances. Mm-hmm. So it, it was multi-purpose, but... All right. And the two-tone with the, with the dark. I don't know, it's hard to tell whether those fenders are dark brown or black. But either way, it's a good, good contrast. Look at this. See? Yeah. What's this one, Mark? <coughs> Chevy 210 sedan. You, <clears throat> when are you going to paint yours like that? Not that color. Not that color? No. This is, what do you see? Neil Peterson is the guy's name. He's out of Security, Colorado? Yep, Security. Okay. That's a suburb of uh, Colorado Springs, the South Colorado Springs. Got all the seats uh, embroidered. Check that out. That's nice. Yeah, nicely done. Mm -hmm. And is yeah. that the stop dash for that? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Uh, yep. Other than he painted the dash. Yeah, and then it painted. Mm -hmm. Very cool car. A supercharger. Yeah. It goes down the road, I bet. I like that when they paint the bumper. You figure the front one's yellow, this one's white. I mean, it, it, it kind of... 
I like them like that too. I like them with all the chrome, but I also like them like this. Yeah, and he's actually, you know, put a little bit of chrome on there to separate the paint colors, and I think that's... But a lot of the know, chrome's going off of that chrome. Yeah, all for sure. Check out these scenery. mountains in the background, the yeah. scenery. This, this place is absolutely beautiful for a show. Oh, this is, you know, in the streets, um, you know, of, of Willow Park. Look at, look at the I don't know if you can see that car in the back it's there. It's like a that, windy road. Can you park. see that one in the background there, that yeah. green and white one? You've mm -hmm. seen that on TV. I've shot that one before. Yeah. Um, check out. Now, that's, that's Pike's Peak in the back. That's Pike's right? Peak in the background. You can see that there's snow up there. Yeah. And that show was the first part of September. All brought to you in part by Keels and Wheels. That guy. That guy. That guy. That guy. All right, that guy. He told me not to tell people he's in jail anymore. Really? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's buying he into said, this. So, somebody's going to believe you, you know. And well, I said, you well, that's him. why we're telling it. Yeah. <clears throat> well, you don't see him for a while. <laughs> but, you know, now that his kids are getting older, I don't think he has. And now every year while we are doing Pumpkin pumpkin Run, he's got this... Um, uh, he skis. He takes them all skiing uh, once a year, doesn't he? Once a year. But he also does in October a, a like river rafting or a oh. river rafting thing with the kids. And he's, I guess, one of the chaperones. And I guess... Um, I guess he's in those in-between years where he's not going to do that because I think he mentioned, I think he mentioned he's coming to Pumpkin Run, all which right. would be cool. Get him out there again. He, what a wonderful guy. Yeah. I, you know, I don't, I don't know of anybody who I could ever say anything bad about Digert. I mean, he's just sweetheart of a guy, loves the hobby, he's a good businessman, you know, yeah. treats everybody right. I mean, he's just a nice, nice guy. So anyway... We have next week more of the cruise above the clouds. Yeah, very cool. I think they had about uh, 200, over 200, uh, mm -hmm. 225 cars or something. Uh, they used to, I don't know if they, they do now, but they used to go to Cripple Creek after. Um, and um, then they would have something there on, on Sunday. Mm -hmm. and I don't know if they're doing that anymore. I should ask Terry. We've got another, oh, another 10 or 12 cars good. to show you from good. there. So that's really good. And I love these. And folks, all it takes is snapshots. I've got, <coughs> Ed Zakuski has sent me several files with cars, beautiful pictures of cars. I want to do a, a slideshow, but I need information on the cars. Yeah. yeah. He made it very clear that the guy who does that, Roger, is not getting you information on the cars. He's not. <laughs> no. He likes to go shoot them, but he's He likes not, to take pictures. But he's not into talking to the people. Okay, so we get four or five guys on that night. We get a whole bunch of us. Somebody's going to recognize the car, and you we know, know what it is. We, but there isn't anybody who, that knows all the years. But we don't know who Bill Trier's good at that. Yep. Oh, yeah. We won't know the owner, but hey, yeah. we still have the info. Yep. All right, we're going to take a little break. Here, a word from our sponsors. We'll be back in just two minutes. Don't go away.